The Middleton Stakes is next. This is a 10 furlong group two for the older fillies. And at the top, it's Sierra Success for Leon van Rensburg. Slow coach for Joshua Sutherland. The Jangies for Darren Thompson. Awaken at Dawn and Korea Go Lightly for Craig Allen. Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes. Desperado, Leon van Rensburg. Fresser Project, Michael Scala. Good American, David Hooley. Green Mantle, Craig Beckwith. Jane Seymour. Kevin Meenahan. Light My Fire, David Robertson. And Pibbles for James Shea. So 13 in this then and all quietly installed ready to go and away they go a little bit slow out was awakened at dawn over on the far side but Sierra success was quickly out so too was Pebbles and now that slow started awakened at dawn has come through on the rail to take a share of the lead joined though by good American in the purple jacket and as they sort themselves out through the first furlong or so it's now looks like it's going to be a Jangis who's going to go on but there's about seven or eight to the middle line and nothing has taken a stranglehold on the race at this point Jane Seymour is just the back marker at the moment, but now awakened at dawn has gone on into a clear lead so awakened at dawn it is then in the lead on the rail from Stablemate Korea go lightly up the centre of the track on the outside of that one is Pebbles the Jangis in the purple in the, well, the maroon jacket the white sleeves is after that one the purple jacket in Good American is next Light My Fire's close up as well so too is uh, Green Mantle who's just on the rail just took a bit of a tug and drop back a little bit Jane Seymour's at the back Fresser Project is also at the back so too Dakar Girl but well, they're all plenty close enough as Awaken at Dawn leads and Awaken at Dawn is three or four lengths clear while the Jangis is just second then Light My Fire third, Pebbles is fourth on the inside of that one is Korea Go Lightly then Slow Coach is now trying to get into it as well and after that one is Sierra Success, Good American is also there looking towards the back it's still Jane Seymour and now Green Mantle has dropped to the back but it's Awaken at Dawn in the lead, Awaken at Dawn now being impressed by Pebbles and Desperado up the centre of the track, Sierra Success is after that one and Jangis has got the rail, Light My Fire and Slow Coach trying to run on Dakar Girls coming round the outside but it's Awaken Awaken at Dawn who's got the run and got the lead. It's Awaken at Dawn, still too clear of Desperado and Pebbles. Then Sierra Success and Jangis after that one. And Fresser Project is now starting to motor as well. Then inside the final two and it's Awaken at Dawn. Still a length clear. Pebbles now throwing down a big challenge. Then comes Sierra Success. Desperado, Light of My Fire starting to get going. Fresser Project is still making ground inside the final furlong. And Pebbles is challenging Awaken at Dawn. Pebbles pokes ahead in front. It's Pebbles in the lead. They're racing up towards the line. Pebbles is holding on at the moment. Pebbles from Awaken at Dawn, and Pebbles is going to take it. Pebbles wins it, Awaken at Dawn, second in line, my foreign zero success. Fresno Project was running on, good American, dropped right out of the back. And Pebbles, after a close call a couple of weeks ago, loses her maiden certificate in a group two with a good win. Pebbles for James Shea, the winner. Awaken at Dawn was second for Craig Allen, Light My Fire was third for David Robertson, Sierra Success, Leon Van Rensburg fourth, and Fresser Project for Michael Scala was fifth.